So welcome everybody, the Ramon Sanchez pick. Dortmund do seem to be long in the last 16 of the Champions League, but getting most sat together for this and so much more, download the app to your mobile. ...21st European tie tonight. Ivan Rakitic restored back here at St. Sancho, and young Erling Haaland could profess himself uh, since they ensured their passage through the group stage of this season's Champions League tournament with two games to play. Dortmund have never... So Haaland gets the ball rolling for Dortmund in the round of 16. This, this evening, they've got a very attack-minded side, so hopefully it's going to be a great game, but, uh, but you're right, they're down to the bare bones at times. To get him involved, keep him getting touches on the ball, I think. But yesterday, fulsome in his praise, he says, yes, I know that they've got all... Did that well, looking for Holland, and it's just in. Moray looked long. That... It's a nice ball, isn't it? Incredible career he has had, and he can still cross it, as you can see here. Navas didn't cross it, but we know he can. Suso deflected and in. Dortmund have reached inside seven minutes so no clean sheet again no they do get a little bit of fortune there it did take a big deflection to fly past marvin hits of course and a lot of credit has to go to fernando the way he worked the ball and spread it wide to suso but when he chops inside i think it's Jaden sancho actually but this chop here has to be defended better and that is just a little bit of bad luck for matt hummels dangling his foot out one or two bright passages of Payer early on from Dortmund, but the other team comes making the move. The game sees an enormous turnover of players yeah. here at Sevilla. It's a real tough tie against Mucha Gladbach next. And it is their only hope. Jaden Sancho goes left instead to Guerrero. And Royce had moved infield where he can do damage. Tricked his way past a couple, but he almost seemed to get in Holland's path, or vice versa. Yeah, careful with that pass. Have to be careful. Invitingly for Holland, if accidentally. Sancho again. Second mid leg next midweek. They're sitting on a 2 0 lead in that one. More. Now Modahoud. What a scream of that Modahoud, of all people! What a night to do it! Back in the side, they'd almost given up on him, but he's repaid their faith in bucket loads here. But us, your Dortmund, a level. Yeah, and you could see it coming. They were opening Sevilla up from left to right, always finding space. The good players finding lots of space. Haaland does really well. I want to take it on? It's still alive for Dortmund, however. The deflection was dangerous, and it's turned behind in the end by Navas. They've scored themselves. Now they're trying to close it down. He was the captain of Atalanta for a while, wasn't he? Yeah. Having him in Sancho to his left. It is Sancho, and it's Holland! It had to happen, didn't it? The Leviathan strikes, and Dortmund have turned it round. They lead 2 1. And how easy again? In this normal defensively strong severe side looks insipid tonight they'll have a look at it to see if it's onside but it certainly looks onside didn't it a really quick one too this was a lovely ball Dortmund with Guerrero Pitts eventually Again, he's moving around, looking for the service, waiting for the ball to come in as Gudero. Emery Chan hustling and harrying. Good. Holland on the move. One from him, and very nearly a second. It was stinging Bruno's gloves. Possession of Dortmund has been far more prolific. And that could have been the third. Hummels yeah. into the ground, but over the top of the crossbar. It was a... Well, he caught that well enough, didn't he? 
And catching practice in the end for hits. Up as quickly as he could. Ball. So so onto it. Navas has given away and Suso has committed the foul, had to be a foul. And to be honest, that'll drive you mad. Marco Royce is almost spoiled for choice. What will he do? He looks for Holland. And it is a third and a second for Holland. The runaway goal machine has done it again. And Sevilla making all their own problems. It's amazing how they can't see it. When everybody else can. How slow have Sevilla moved the ball from side to side and just waited to be pounced upon. And they just walked right into the same trap again. Yes, again he tries on his right foot as he did a few minutes ago. Very well blocked down by Borussia Dortmund but three at half time. Just how much they're going to have to work to keep Dortmund the three goals the goal away to our right and let me put and steal something towards the end of the game if a little bit of complacency creeps inside here's Papu Gomez takes a deflection and this time it's kind for Dortmund in the middle of the park and the speed of movement not only with the ball but in terms of personnel real athletes have got in their side that they just don't come up against such Suso goes down way too easily for Referee Danny McAlium was cut out by Diego Carlos. Breaks kindly for Gomez. On the away side, but just like the two holding players, just to really sit and not get actually too a good result. It would, yeah. Jordan. Kunde's heavy pass. Navas will keep this in, though. To the Dahu, here's Haaland. Excellently tires yeah. at a good club here. Looks a good fit here in Sevilla. It's a late one. Bono with a save. Royce with a chance. Still in there, but the flag is up for offside. De Jong fouled by Hummels. Good position here now for. Oh, and it's off the post. To save from hits. I think he gets fingertips to that onto the post. It was a brilliant free kick. A little bit of luck he goes. Uh, I thought actually gone through the legs, but it hadn't. Goalkeeper's going to be disappointed at that, but it's so close to him in the end. Takes a, takes a bounce just before him over his leg, gets fingertips to it. And in truth, it's not a goalkeeping error. It's great composure. So Delivery, no joy. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box throughout.